Saddle with a cactus saddle. <laughs> Hey, hey, John here, and welcome back to the Super Awesome Geek Show. Today we've got something really cool in the toy room to take a look at. Some various versions of Wild Bill. The reason I wanted to do this was mainly because of the orange version of Wild Bill that you see in the center there. But I thought we could take a moment to go through Wild Bill in all his awesomeness. He first appeared in the Marvel comic books in issue number 11 and in toy form first appeared with the Assault Copter Dragonfly XH1 and uh, this thing is awesome the Dragonfly was one of the coolest helicopters ever made in toy form in Japan it was the G.I. Joe Flying Dragon shown here Wild Bill later on came out on a card back in a blue version with black pants and then later on reproduced in the same figure but with white pants in the Battle Corpse thing, line, whatever you want to call it. He then came out in the year 2000 with the Assault Copter Locust XH1. And this one was the same figure as the previous but this time he had gray pants. <laughs> they just kept using the same mold over and over again. And then we have the orange version, which we show, which I'm showing here, which was from Fun School in India. And uh, I'm excited to have gotten this one, and that's sort of the main reason for this video. So the original Wild Bill was a green figure with a brown vest and brown straps. He had a couple of pistols on his legs, a blue hat, and uh, this guy was just awesome. Wild Bill was one of my favorite action figures growing up. I loved having this character. I had a lot of fun with Wild Bill. I was I, I played with the Dragonfly to no end. This thing, I beat the hell out of it. My original Dragonfly, the rotor blades broke off. I think the landing gear broke off. And I managed to make it so everything could sort of like snap back on or glued it back on or somehow repaired it over the years but uh that thing sure took a beating because i played with it so much it was such an awesome vehicle i had a great time with it wild bill's got a like ginger hair with a with a mustache like i said he's got the brown vest with a dagger stuck in a pocket some brown straps pistols on his side colts he loves revolvers colt revolvers He's uh, mostly green with swivel arms. There was never a straight-on version of this. This was like a second series kind of guy. He's got a belt buckle with a bull horn on it. With a bull. And a uh, blue hat. It's kind of a cavalry type hat. And um, there were... I don't know. I'm not quite sure if you want to consider this a variant or not. But there were two, there's two common versions of Wild Bill to find. One is darker than the other. You'll see the, the face, the hat, the outfit, uh, the shirt underneath. Everything about him is slightly darker. And I don't know if they're two different plastics or if it's two different countries. Um, I don't know what the deal is with these. But I quite commonly find these two different versions. And it doesn't seem to be like paint fade or anything like that. They actually feel like almost two different plastics. But um, I just thought I'd bring that up just for people to be aware of. And then we have the second version of Wild Bill. The second sculpt for him which was a little bit closer to the cartoon. Because in the cartoon he didn't wear that green outfit. He wore blue and yellow. And um, But it's still off. It's still not cartoon accurate. Uh, this second version of Wild Bill first appeared, I believe, in 1992 with these black pants. And then in 93, he came out with the Battle Corpse version where he had the white pants. Same figure, but white pants. And then in 2000 was the Locust version. And the Locust version was, again, the same figure, but with gray pants. 
Yeah, and this Wild Bill came with a hat, and he had a shotgun, a dagger, and a backpack with a stand. And he also um, has a big rocket launcher. Yeah, he's got the brown straps, blue shirt on, yellow shirt underneath it. He's got one holster on there, yellow stripes on the legs. Kind of like Han Solo. The hat can come on and off. This was a great addition. I loved that uh, they finally made it so that his hat could come on and off. They made his hair extremely red in this one. It's more red than orange. And he's got gold sunglasses rather than silver. The hat's very snug. It won't come off. We got the dagger in the sheath here on the backpack. And the backpack is a kind of like a like a cowboy cantina out and about backpack. <laughs> Just pops right on. Pretty cool. He also has a giant rocket launcher, but um, I lock all the rocket launchers and things up in uh, in a in my parts cabinet, and I don't have it with me at the moment. But um, yeah, pretty cool. So here's the version one and version two side by side. Awesome figures. Love Wild Bill. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. It's Major Blood and the Cobra Copter. They're after Gung Ho. Get the G.I. Joe Dragonfly Copter. Wild Bill to the rescue. Major Blood, look. Let's get out of here. Cobra turning tail. Want to live good, buddy? G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe Dragonfly Copter comes with Wild Bill, other figures and equipment, each sold separately from Hasbro. Now, back to G.I. Joe. So here is the Fun School Orange version of Wild Bill on card. This came out around 2001, I believe, in India. Fun School was India, Ukraine, you know, various places, um, Russia, I believe. And um, they're all like weird colored versions most of them are weird colored versions of our favorite figures. G.I. Joe International Heroes, codename Wild Bill, comes with some really funky looking weapons there. Weapons that are more space age than anything else. You can't really... Look at that drawing too, it looks weird. <laughs> it's It almost looks like it's... Like like it's not real, but these were really made by uh, Hasbro. Well, fun, and put out by Fun School. Fully posable modern army action figure with accessories. GI Joe International Heroes, ages five and up, includes backpack and guns. Modern army action figures. Wild Bill. Now a lot of times you'll find Fun School ones with a. Uh, another language like Ukrainian or something like that but this one just happens to be in English and you can see all the other figures that were available collect all the G.I. Joe and Cobra the enemy figures and vehicles made in India by Fun School pretty cool Yeah, some people might think these are generic, but I'm really happy to have them. Wild Bill, cold name helicopter pilot. <laughs> William S. Hardy, helicopter pilot, fixed wing pilot. Served as a combat inf infantryman and participated in LRRP operations during Southeast Asian debacle. Re-enlisted for flight warrant officer school as, and has since remained in service. Specialized training, classified, amiable and slow talking, fancies himself a country western singer, totally honest in personal dealings, but not beyond spinning a tall tale for the amusement of his comrades. And here's all the other awesome figures you could have got. 
Deep Stick, Storm Shadow, Muskrat, Road Pig, Crockmaster, Blocker, Cutter, Psych Out, Sci-Fi, Mainframe, Captain Gridiron, Budo, Target, Roadblock, Tunnel Rat, Eels, Dial Tone, Big Boa, Countdown, Dodger, Ozone, Lifeline, General Flag, Tracker, Desert Scorpion, Blaster, Cobra Commander, and Mercer. Whoa. So cool. Like I said, Fun School, Made in India by Fun School India Limited. Terraport Towers. Joint Venture with Hasbro. Interesting stuff here. Color of the product may vary. And here if we put the original gung -ho, or original Wild Bill next to the orange version, you can see that they took the the body and instead of the strap being brown, it's orange. He's got a silver vest instead of the brown vest. And the arms are completely different if you take a look at them and notice. He's got short sleeves with um, some silver gauntlets or something, which is a totally different arm design than what the original Wild Bill had. But his legs are the same, and instead of white pistol grips, he's got black Colt revolver pistol grips. So for the most part, it's the same figure. He's got steel toe boots. <laughs> but uh, like I said, the arms are completely different. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this run through some Wild Bill action figures that are in my collection. I appreciate you guys checking this out with me. What, what do you think of the orange one? Who's your favorite version of Wild Bill? Do you think that that is a variant, the two different versions of the green ones? Are they variants or are they just some kind of weird factory error stuff, you know? Let me know what you guys think of Wild Bill in the comments below. He happens to be one of my favorite figures, and I hope that uh, you guys agree. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay awesome out there, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.